Well, welcome back to the New England Health Marketing. Um, today, well, so it's been a while. Um, in our, we have a small little homestead. Barely homestead, really. More like a garden. But we're trying to be a homestead. And during the wintertime, we shut down. We don't have anything to do out there. Other than snow plow, which you don't want to watch, I'm not sure. Um, that's okay. So, it's getting the cusp of spring. So, we're going to start our seed seedlings. Yep. And, um, Today we're going to be planting cabbage. Less than last year though. Last year we planted way too, much. way too many cabbage and the chickens got a lot and they enjoyed them. Yes. <laughs> Cauliflower, uh, again, hopefully this year actually goes. Yep. Broccoli, again, we hopefully it'll actually take. Never successfully grown those, so we're going to no. see how hopefully that goes. Yeah. Um, peppers again this year. And then paprika pepper, which I had no clue that there is actually a paprika pepper. So fun fact, um, the first year we did it. I thought it was red peppers, because like you just dehydrate that and make paprika. We've been using it when I'm cooking, but. Yeah, it's actually a paprika pepper. So now we know we have to try it. Live and learn, who knows. And then the boys later on this evening are doing pumpkins. So. Yes, they're excited for the pumpkins. Our oldest especially wants to have his own garden part and wants to plant lots of pumpkins in there. Um, so we're going to start the other things. So we're going to wait to start the pumpkins and the squash and all of that with them when they are done with school. Okay. Oh, and, and, and then this stuff. Oh yeah. So we have pots. We have dirt here. Little um. Like nursery pots. Yes. Mama, pots. It's cinnamon in there, Mom. <laughs> cinnamon for um any kind of stuff. Uh, last year I like mixed it into the dirt. But then I was reading that you can just do it on top, like just sprinkle it on the top. So that's what I'm going to do instead this year and hopeful it'll work out a little bit better. I did that more so, I did the seed blocking last year and I still love that. But I have all of these and I think this is going to be a little bit easier this one. Or a little bit easier this year with this little one. And we also got some new friends. Yes, we do. Sorry. Whoop. See? Tug ducklings. So. Here's some up there. Yes, here. So. Here, grab one. Oh, so they have this little, like, tuck on there. Can you see that? A little afro. Yeah. James got them because he's excited. Or they're supposed to be good, like, pet ducks. Yes, they are. Corner of the thing. And then why don't you show what you want to hopefully do with them this year? Well, this year, so uh, in my garden, I actually want to have ducks, garb with a pest in the garden. From, from snails, other bugs. They're supposed to be good for that stuff. So hopefully my ducks will be good. I like the chickens who like peck at everything. Yeah, they eat everything for you. I don't, we don't know. I'm hopeful the ducks won't do the same thing. Hopeful. And that they'll stay in there and be our friends. Right. The ducks last year were not our friends. So, so, all right. All right, let's get started, though. Okay, cool. So James is gonna get the dirt into the pots for me and put them in here. Um, I got these trays last year, and I really like them. Um, so these trays have like the slits in it, and then I didn't buy these were more expensive. So they're much thicker plastic. Um, it's an online place that I got those from. And then these are just the thinner ones I got from like any big hardware store um, and they fit perfectly inside of each other. And so what we'll do is we'll load them up and then put them in here and then the water goes in there and you fill it up enough to go through those slots and then you'll like bottom feed or bottom water the plants and hope that they start to grow. And then we're going to put them in our house. Um, to start it out and then once they start growing a little bit we actually just had a snowstorm today snow not snowstorm today then they'll eventually move out to our green you know the only thing though mm. i forgot to grab anything to label these oh no we don't want that to happen again. no we don't that'd be bad okay that was sad last year that was bad we ended up and we didn't know what was what, and that was not tons of fun. So I'm gonna go grab something to label it with. 
last year the cabbage in the house also did not was not successful in the soil block. A lot of the other seedlings was successful. These seedlings did not start growing until I grew them in our greenhouse um, our greenhouse bed that we have. Then they started being successful. So I'm interested to see if they're going to grow in these nursery pots or not. All right, so to end this data up here, um, what we did is we have the cabbages and the broccoli here on keem pads. These keem pads will only be used to sprout them. Once they sprout and start growing, we'll turn the keem pads off and then apply the lights here. These are grow lights, just so you know. Um, the reason to turn these off, oh, sorry, they're only good for them growing initially. After that, you'll turn them off because they'll both the plants. Um, <clears throat> initially it's good to help it grow faster. Um, on top of that, we have the uh, pumpkin seeds over here. The pumpkin seeds are late bloomers, and we don't need that right now. So we want the cabbage to grow and the broccoli to grow, but we'll pull off on the pumpkin seeds. And then also up here you have potato slips. Um, that we have, sorry, sweet potato slips. We also have potatoes down here. That little shoe put in the ground here soon, hopefully. So other than that, have a safe.